So in the previous video, I mentioned upgrading the Tezcart's 52 volt battery arrangement to 72 volts, and that's what I'm gonna get started on today. So Battery Hookup has hooked me up once again and sent me some more batteries for the 72 volt upgrade. And they sent me some LG Chem automotive cells. And they sent me a total of 20 of these cells and they each have a capacity of 60 amp hours. As you can see, each battery pack consists of five modules and each one of these modules contains two cells. The plan is to make up two 10S packs, one for each side of the cart and then I'll be wiring those together in series. So I'll essentially be upgrading from a 52 volt 20 amp hour pack to a 72 volt 60 amp hour pack, which is quite the upgrade. What's also nice is I don't need to make any custom enclosures for these and they'll fit in the cart just as nicely, if not better than the current setup. I'm using some M5 screws along with flange nuts to make the connections. The teeth on the flange nuts create a nice strong hold on the battery tab, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about them coming loose over time. Okay, so now that I've finished all of my series connections, I can go ahead and install my BMS units. So I'm going to install one of these 10S 150 amp BMS units onto each pack. And I've already went ahead and made up some brackets for these guys. So let's get them wired up. All right, the BMS units are all wired up. So now I'm gonna to start to remove the old 52 volt packs and enclosures and then install the new ones. All right, so after I got the batteries fastened into place, I swapped out the original 48 volt contactor with a 72 volt one. I also removed the old junction box, which I no longer needed. It was a little tricky connecting the number four welding cable to the BMS. I decided to reuse the lug that came on the BMS, and to do that, I first had to detach it using this torch setup. Next, I cut out the original cable and then crimped and soldered the lug onto the welding cable. From there, I decided to finish up the connections. I also installed this Anderson connector and added in the XC60 connector for charging. I charged the batteries with this 84 volt 5 amp charger. But yeah, that's it for the installation, so let's go see how it rips. All right, so it's the big test day. We got the test card out here, Mike and Paul setting up the drone, and we're gonna do the top speed test and see how fast it goes.
Wow, it's cold out here. <laughs> 80 kilometers an hour. 80, wow. That's what we got. But I did drop the uh, sprocket ratio quite a bit so I could get more torque. So with the previous sprocket ratio, I wouldn't be surprised if it went at least 90. But man, that's fun. It's got so much power, it's crazy. <laughs> sand drift. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? We were doing some laps at the school track and uh, batteries got completely pooched. So now we're just hiking our home. The way she goes. Brutal. Pushing it all the way home like this. <laughs> 